So Chargy the producer asked, Why do you think newer generations like Gen Z and Gen A are struggling so much with derealization and demotivation? They said they think it can be somewhat attributed to brain rot social media, like short form content and content that has no real substance. And then they left some kind words for me at the end. I think a big issue is the constant reminder of our insignificance in comparison to others. So basically, the numbers on social media. See, back in the day, these didn't exist. These numbers you see all over social media, none of this existed. And now these days, your average Joe is on social media with a following of some sort. And whether their following is big or small, it's irrelevant because it all adds to a scale. So now, no matter how many followers you have, you're always insignificant in comparison to somebody else. So if you have 50 followers, you're insignificant to the person that has 500 followers. And if you have 500 followers, you're insignificant to the person who has 5,000 followers. And it just keeps going and going and going. Also, no matter what you're doing, you can always just open up your phone and see somebody doing it better than you. And that alone demotivates a lot of people. Let's say you're out fishing, right? And you caught a bluegill, which is this tiny fish, but you're proud of your catch, so you post that catch on Instagram. Well, there's a guy that caught a 19 pound snakehead that same morning and posted his catch on Instagram. And now, you're insignificant compared to that guy. So he may feel special, you know, he looks at your catch, he looks at his, he feels good about himself, but boom! Earlier that same morning, a guy caught a whole entire shark and uploaded his catch onto Instagram. And now, everyone else feels insignificant compared to him. There's always a bigger fish in the ocean of the internet. It's just a never-ending loop. It just goes on and on and on. And every single person that comes before the next person feels insignificant compared to the person ahead of them. I also think we have higher expectations than ever paired with the need for instant gratification. It's hard to be okay with the slow process of gradual growth over a long period of time when you have 17 year old millionaires who blew up overnight off of one TikTok flaunting their wealth on the internet all day long. You don't feel satisfied with your growth compared to them. Even though your growth is good and you may achieve that same level of fame and wealth eventually, it doesn't feel good because they got theirs quicker and you want that instant gratification, you're comparing yourself to their journey. You know, you're not looking at your own journey because everyone has their own unique journey in life. You're looking at theirs and you saw how easy it worked for them, how easy it all happened for them, or at least what from what you can see, because ultimately you don't really know the, the work that goes behind the scenes for all these people. You don't know what kind of work they put in. You only really see the outcomes, but it won't stop most people from comparing themselves to that person nonetheless. So our expectations are just unrealistic. You know, we want everything now, you know, overnight, drop of a dime. It's like fast food, you know, or like sticking some food in a microwave, a minute 30, boom, it's ready to eat. You know, you don't wanna wait for some bread to bake all goddamn day. You don't wanna wait for the oven to heat up and blah, 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 you know? You just want it now. You wanna satisfy your appetite on the spot as soon as you're hungry. I also believe that we live easier lives now than ever before in human history. I mean, we are in the most privileged time of human existence than ever before. And I think naturally, this begins to disconnect us from the raw human experience. I believe that the process of enduring pain and struggle is what grounds us, you know? And as we all experience less pain and struggle now than ever before, we start to become disconnected from the harsh realities of life. And whether reality is harsh or not, it's still reality. And I believe that a lot of people are no longer living in reality. And with so much technological innovation, as our world is stripped further and further away from reality, the space between reality and the new world that we perceive is filled with digital interactions. Our actual reality is fragmented and it's being held together by all these digital interactions in the forms of social media, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I also believe that our attention span is lower than ever and this is in large part due to this new age of instant gratification and, um, this reduces 
the quality of things. I mean, like, look at the state of music and the state of movies and the state of, like, look at the state of just art as a whole. It's all about virality. It's all about just rehashing things that people are already familiar with. Thor 5, um, just reusing old Timbaland beats. Just, it's just the same shit over and over again because people don't really have the attention span to learn something new. You know what I mean? They're, they want what they're already familiar with. They don't want to learn a whole new backstory, et cetera, et cetera. And this results in the quality of things going down. And I think we can observe this through so many different forms of art at the moment, even down to fashion, you know, like look at some of these runways recently compared to the older runways, like in the nineties, eighties, etc. I mean, it's just, it's just a bunch of bullshit for like headlines and like virality. It's all about virality. It's not about like genuine quality. It's all about like, what's going to get the most clicks? What's going to go trending on Twitter? What's going to create the most, you know, yapping online and it's just all the clicks. That's what everyone wants. Clicks, 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 clicks. And it really is sad because we have a whole new generation of people that never really got to experience the golden age of anything like are we in the golden age of anything at the moment maybe streaming you know maybe streaming is in its at its peak right now you know like it, streaming is the best like quality right now than it's ever been but when you think of fashion think of gaming movies music are we in any peak right now i don't think we are like we just get the same marvel movies released every freaking weekend it, we all the music sounds the goddamn same i mean what are we getting anymore like the games they're just like uh, bro resident evil 4 remake was like one of the games of the year like one of the nominees like bro that's a remake from a game that's how goddamn old like that's the state of like things right now like everything's just so dry and just i don't know man i don't know man it sucks to like not see quality original things anymore you know it really does suck to see and i think this is very demotivating I mean, imagine growing up in this landscape and everything kind of just sucks. Everything's dry. Everything's just a remake of something older that was far better than the current remake. Would you be very motivated to create? Like, would you be inspired by anything? Like, nothing is inspiring anymore. So what would you be inspired by? Nothing is inspiring anymore. I mean, you could be inspired by the fact that there is nothing, you know, of genuine quality, like good, solid passion and quality anymore so that would inspire you to be the person to bring you know that sort of passion to the table something of good quality but most people don't think like that they just like imagine all the people that were inspired by star wars you know when star wars was in its glory days and now it's completely run into the ground but just imagine all the people that were just inspired by something like star wars alone you know, but there is no Star Wars anymore, you know, like that would bring the passion and inspiration out of people. But now what 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 is the thing that is inspiring everybody? What what's the thing? Like in music, in movies, in gaming, I mean, what are you going to ex be inspired by the new Battle Pass? Like are you going to be inspired by the new Thor 19? Like what what is inspiring anymore? And like, I think that's what demotivates people as well. It's just like nothing of quality anymore. No, no, there's no passion. It's all just like pleasing shareholders and just quick engagement and clicks and virality. It's just passionless. I think that the general passionless state of art in general across the board, across the globe is very demotivating. You also have to think, I mean, the wonder of the world is gone. You know, like back then, back in the day, if you were curious about what the inside of an ancient pyramid looked like, like you have to go find some book or ask some historian somewhere who look had that information. But now you just look it up in your phone. Boom. Your curiosity is instantly satisfied. And same thing like you. Maybe you're curious, like what did the biggest fish in the Jurassic period look like? Boom. You just look it up instantly. You can just see it. There's no, like, there's no wondering, there's no, hmm, I wonder what this could have looked like, there's no, like, imagination, and if you do imagine anything, right, like, even, even imagination is dwindling, because then you have AI, it can just bring anything you imagine to life, 
in a matter of seconds. You know, you don't even have to imagine things anymore. And yeah, just like the general wonder of the world is gone. Like the sort of things that you had to go experience yourself or see firsthand or like find someone that knew the information and they could only tell you it and you would still have to imagine it. That's gone. You can just look it up on your phone. You can see the whole freaking world from your phone right now. It's just there's no wonder anymore you know like we, we we've just seen it all you know and that's why everyone's so desensitized to freaking everything you know that's why all these people have to go to these absolute extremes to captivate anyone because no one's really like captivated by shit anymore we've seen it we've seen it all you know like i don't know man i just i wonder what it would be and many adults alive right now could tell you i mean they could describe this time for you because i mean they lived it you know but I don't really remember a time where I couldn't just look something up. You know, if I was curious about what what this country somewhere wherever looked like or, you know, what the surface of Mars looked like or whatever, I could just Google it. And it was that easy. I could just Google whatever I was curious about. There was a once a time where people they they couldn't see it. They had to imagine. They had to just wonder. It was a mystery. You know, the mystery, the mystique of the world is gone. You know, it's like we just have it all figured out. We've seen it, been there, done that. <sighs> yeah. And I just turned 23. Like, I wasn't even alive during that period, but I can just imagine it. You know what I mean? Like, I could just imagine. I, I believe my father described, um, he described like he was curious what uh, the pyramids or something looked like. And he had to, like, go try to crack open some book somewhere so he could see it for the first time. And that was the only, like, picture of of them that he ever got i can watch a whole tour of them on my phone right now <laughs> you know like it's just um it's sad man it really is sad like i just believe the, the mystique of life in the world is gone and that's why death is so captivating because that's the one thing that we really just like don't have a whole lot of in insight you know you can't just look it up like oh what happens when you die tutorial a walkthrough whatever like on your phone on youtube and you could just see what happens blah, blah, blah. like that's the only thing that's still very mysterious that we genuinely just don't have answers for and then there's more technical things like in the line of science metaphysics etc but not a lot of people are like into that like that deep in terms of just the world in general like things out there blah 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 like you just look it up and see it you know you, you can't have it described to you anymore. You just imagine it. And, you know, even if you want to, even if you did want to imagine it, you could just type it into a prompt in some AI software and it can just show you what it would look like in seconds. It's crazy, man. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a big part. I feel that's certainly a big part. I think the internet plays such a large role in many of our lives. And see, the thing about the internet, what you see on online is there so many things are superficial. All right. And you're not really like getting the full story, et cetera, et cetera. For so many things you see online, you really only see outcomes or like a very curated version of, you know, what people have handpicked and cherry picked for you to see. And this builds a very unrealistic view of just the world in general. And I think this definitely plays into that de derealization part. Um, you're not even like 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 realness is so hard to come by especially on the internet but like just realness and in, in just genuine raw anything it's so hard to come by these days with people online just kind of wherever you go you know it's it's not really common anymore it's it's kind of a rarity and um you know so many people live in like this fake world this this fantasy world that the internet has created and they've like based their entire concept and perception of reality around a fake world and these people are obviously you know the terminally online people i'm referring to and you can tell when someone is terminally online and they don't really leave the house much you can just kind of tell man you can just you can just tell because they come up with really brain dead takes like Hassan saying like streaming was harder than like your nine to five or more draining, whatever. Like this dude doesn't, he, he's, he's not, he hasn't lived in reality yet. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't know. This dude genuinely doesn't know. And it's evident when you come across these people, you could just tell like, oh, you, you don't get outside much, Like you haven't really experienced the world on like 
different levels. You you you've experienced it in like this hyper specific way, this very unique way that isn't really rooted in like base reality, you know, like the common experience of the commoner, you're not like you're out of touch. I and mean, then you could just tell when people are out of touch because of all the time they spend on the internet. They are so disconnected from reality. And, you know, it shows in their ideas, the way they perceive the world, the things they say, the way they act so, so much. And yeah, I do think that plays a big role as well. You know, I've noticed that. I think that's a big factor. I also think that a lot of people in these generations don't really know themselves very well because they're always distracted by something, whether it be video games or social media, just the internet in general, music, you know, whatever. They're always distracted by something. Most people don't really live in the moment anymore. And I've I've beat this horse to death, dude. I've I've talked about this so much. I sound like a parrot at this point, just repeating, just a broken record player, but so many people just don't live in the moment anymore. They don't really know themselves. They don't just turn the music off and drive in silence and talk to themselves in their head. They like that's why so many people, when they start doing something, they make it their entire identity. Like someone starts going to the gym, all of a sudden they're a gym bro and they have like a certain way to dress and they have to like live up to all these little like, micro labels and they make it their whole identity or like some girl you know like i'm an e-girl now i have to do all these e-girl things i need you know the pink gaming chair with the pink lights and the cute keyboard and the cat ear headphones like they make it their entire identity and there's so many like there's so many examples of this but it just shows like to me that tells me like you you genuinely don't know yourself at all and you just like latch onto a label you make it your entire identity and it's sad and that's why when people like andrew tate come out so many people gravitate towards that and they want to like shape their entire personality around like what this guy is saying because they don't know themselves at all and they're just like well i want to be like him so i'm going to reshape myself i'm going to mold myself like i'm made out of clay to, to be shaped like this guy and if you guys want the like the best example of it look at the content creator sneeko i mean he this is his entire thing it's just remodeling his entire identity for whoever he is admiring at the moment and it's so pathetic you know and i think a lot of people do this i think like this is why i don't really connect with a lot of people my age range because so many of them do this like so many people like they make their interest their whole identity i'm just like oh, what, who am i talking to bro like am i talking to a hashtag right now am i talking to hashtag jim bro or am i talking to justin you know like who, what even are you? You're just everything I'm seeing online, but like just here in front of me. And then there's another one of you right there and right there, right? It just copy paste. And it's just, oh God, like it's, it's so, I mean, like, I can't imagine that type of life, that type of like one dimensional sheeple way of thought you know like that's scary to me you know like you're you're an npc like i'm not even trying to sound like that guy like oh i broke out the matrix so you guys are all npcs but bro you're an npc like that's straight up npc behavior it's so weird to me i don't know i just feel like a lot of people don't really spend a lot of time with themselves and like get to know themselves and enjoy their own company most people they don't they don't enjoy their own company and they're always filling that space of silence or like those opportunities because to me i see that as like opportunity to get your to know yourself better you know but to other people that's miserable they need to fill that space with music or on facetime with their friends or with a video game etc i cherish those moments you and i think you should i think you should cherish those moments and um you know get to know yourself like who are you you know and don't let some freaking hashtag somewhere tell you who you are or what you're supposed to be you know, just find that out within yourself. Find your own answers because all your answers are in here. You know I mean, they're all in here. So you got to like look within to find these answers and not look through Twitter or look through Instagram or TikTok or whatever everyone's using. You, you can't that your answers aren't there. I mean, you can go ahead and become a clone of somebody else all you want. But who are you? You know, that's the question you should be asking yourself. And that's how you break out of that state of derealization is find who you are who are you and one more thing i'd like to add is um and you know i kind of just like answered this on the fly i'm just freestyling it right now um so i'm obviously you know once i edit and post this i'm gonna think of like so many other answers i should have said in the video 
But one more thing I would like to add before I stop recording is um, kind of just the state of the world. You know, it's a very depressing state of the world right now. And a lot of people can't really um, imagine their futures. I mean, like the housing market is in shambles, you know, like just like owning your own crib is so unrealistic at this point. If you're like my age range, um, so many like jobs are being replaced by ai and all types of other shit imagine like you went you to get your degree for like tech or some shit and like ai is just boom replacing you like that you're getting fired da, da, da. and like now like things look hopeless and you're not motivated the uncertainty of the future it, with so much developing especially ai but with so many things changing around the world across the geopolitical spectrum etc you know what i mean we're like in this state of absolute uncertainty but there's so many things changing all around us and it's so hard to visualize or imagine the future um, i mean back then i think there were there were times where things were a lot more simple and it was easier to imagine what five years ahead may look like but now it's just in the air like we don't know like i don't even know what tomorrow's gonna look like at this point bro there may be like a whole new thing like i don't no one knows nobody knows the future is so uncertain but there are so many things evolving and changing and and rapidly as well rapidly around the world and in terms of technology and everything science etc it's so hard to um i don't know man it's so hard to be motivated because when you're motivated by something, you see something ahead. You know, you're motivated towards something. You're, you see some sort of goal you would wish to um, reach. But when the future is so uncertain, how, you can't you can't see the goal line. You know what I mean? You can't you can't see the finish line anywhere. And, you know, it's like, do I want to put all my eggs in this basket here? You know, I want to dump like my efforts and motivation into this thing that I'm not certain will even exist in five years, four years. It's just, I could see how that's very demotivating, you know? So, yeah, I think I'll end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I never replied to the person that commented this, so I hope you didn't think I ignored you. Um, I just couldn't find the comment once I once I had screenshotted it. I couldn't find it. But, um, yeah, I hope they uh, watched this video. If you guys did enjoy this, um, you know, like and sub it means a lot. It goes a very long way. I uh, appreciate everyone for supporting these types of videos, you know, kind of like discussion content, you know, just kind of talking, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, if you have questions yourself or, you know, um, you can feel free to ask, you know, I love answering these types of questions. And also uh, feel free to like have a discussion in the comments. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. These are all just my opinions on things and, uh, and my opinions are always changing. And as soon as I post this, I've already thought of nine new points that I should have added into this video that I didn't add. So I may spin, you know, spin the block on it later on and like add some new shit. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of y'all's day. Stay healthy. Peace.